I got like really famous at like 12 years old or something to Which the point where it was very insane. overwhelming. Yeah. yeah, it was overwhelming and sort of strange. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then I got not un completely unfamous. <laughs> it's been over a decade, 13 years to be exact, since the Naked Brothers Band premiered on Nickelodeon. It's shocking how fast time flies. Stars who were once at the height of their fame can fizzle out in an instant, leaving fans wondering just what happened to the stars of their once favorite TV shows. In the case of the Naked Brothers Band, fans shouldn't have to search hard to see what their favorite fictional band has been up to. Nat Wolf, the star of the show, has had a consistently interesting Hollywood career since his first stint of TV ended. The Naked Brothers Band was an unusual addition to the Nickelodeon lineup. The series was the network's mockumentary about a tween rock band and their epic road to success, and it was actually based on their real lives. Nat and Alex were the stars of the show, and every episode was actually written and directed by their real-life mother, Polly Draper. Their real-life dad, Michael Wolf, even played their father on the show. The Naked Brothers Band was generally well-received by critics, and the show's young audience loved to see the natural chemistry between the brothers in a setting that depicted them as international rock stars. The show earned the boys lots of press, many lucrative interviews, and a household name status for many years to come. Although both brothers pulled equal weight as actors on the show, Nat easily commanded most of the attention. He wrote all of the music himself, and critics hailed the show for having catchy original music that was far more compelling and enjoyable than Kids Bop or another comparable children's music act. His budding romance with the character Rosalina was a topic of interest for most young viewers who found the show just as relatable as it was entertaining. Decades later, this family is still going strong, even though the show was canceled after just three seasons. The show mainly centered around Nat, as he was the older brother of the two who was deemed to be a heartthrob status early on. Fans were drawn to Nat's wholesome but fun personality, which earned him a successful career in Hollywood long after the cancellation of Naked Brothers Band. Band with my brother um, and a bunch of my friends, and then my mom created this TV show about us, and, and uh, it was like a, a mock documentary right. type thing. Um, that that kind of blew up on Nickelodeon. I got like really famous at like 12 years old or something to Which the point where it was very insane. overwhelming. Yeah. yeah, it was overwhelming and sort of strange. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then I got not un completely unfamous. <laughs> Falling in love with directors and um, so and then like by the end of high school I started working and doing films and and still playing band with Alex and. Uh, like long walks on the beach. <laughs> These days, fans are pleased to know that Nat is still performing with his little brother, Alex, and the two are as close as ever. The chemistry between Nat and Alex has never wavered since the inception of the show in 2007. The two are always making music, whether commercially or just for fun, and fans have loved following the two as they grow and mature over the years. Apart from his successful musical career, Nat's had a fairly impressive and consistent acting career since the Naked Brothers Band was canceled. Nat has roles in The Fault in Our Stars, Paper Towns, Death Note, Stella's Last Weekend, Rosie, Home Again, and more. Rumors began circling that Nat's been dating Grace Van Patten, an actress best known for her roles in Netflix films like Tramps and The Meyerowitz Stories. Photos of the two surfaced in Italy, which confirmed fans' suspicions that the two were together. Nat and Grace were in Italy to support his younger brother Alex, who was honored during the opening night festivities with the Filmmaker of the Year Award. This confirms how serious the relationship is, and no one can deny the two are a happy-looking couple. They've been together since 2017, the same year he is rumored to have dated Bella Thorne. In February 2017, Nat Wolf and Bella Thorne sparked dating rumors after being seen having a lunch date together. Prior to Bella and Grace, Nat's been seen cozied up to Ashley Benson, former star of Pretty Little Liars. Most notably, Nat Wolf dated Miranda Cosgrove from May 2009 to January 2011. According to an interview with People, Miranda claims to only have had one serious boyfriend in her life who lasted for three years and ultimately became the one that got away. Although Miranda has never publicly acknowledged she was talking about Nat, fans have a pretty keen intuition that's who she's referring to. Despite his long list of celebrity entanglements, MTV's Girl Code called Nat a perfect boyfriend. And he's maintained a squeaky clean image in the public eye without a single scar or slip up on his rap sheet. Called you a dream boyfriend. Wow. So how does that make you feel? What do you think about that label? Um, I am a musician and I'm, I, and I'm an actor and um, and uh, I don't. Know, let's see. Do you want to be my girlfriend? <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
Just a year ago, Nat Wolf was interviewed by Jimmy Fallon, proving for once and for all he's still soaking up the spotlight. He indulged Jimmy with a story of how he met Paul McCartney and sobbed the day he met him. Like on, on August 29th this year, I've been waiting my entire life. I used to write, I used to write Paul McCartney letters all and give it to, I'd hear you'd be at a restaurant, I'd write him a letter, I'd give it to the host. I think you need to sit down. As I'm sitting down, I thought like something terrible had happened. And um, and he said, Paul McCartney's here. And like a like a girl, 14-year-old girl in the 60s, I just started bawling. I <laughs> really had a conversation with him and I and I tell him how much he means to me and that I think he's, you know, the amount of happiness he's given to the world is uh -huh. unprecedented. And and then he says, He's like, I've got a good feeling about you. Keep going with what you're doing. After all these years, Nat is still the personable, funny, and candid star that fans fell in love with years ago. We, um, the character is so so uh, different from me, but there was a, um, a mischievous energy and, and thing to it that I was really attracted to from the script. And it was kind of, I had an image of that character the first time I read that, it was so well written. Well, I guess you must have forgot about all those TV cameras that saw me get walked in here. Any marks on me that weren't there before? And you see, we're gonna have some explaining to do, baby. Stephen King book uh, there is, which is saying a lot. I'm an obsessive, huge Stephen King fan. I think The Stand is an epic, and it's satire and a comedy, but at the same time, it's also really heart wrenching. And then, and then Like a Virgin by Madonna came on the speaker and started playing. And I just got kind of compelled to do this dance and the Subway sandwich and everybody was looking at me and I thought, all right, I got it. Or I had the feeling. You know? I love that. 